so uh, this is a uh, little overview about uh, Goodman's new uh, Comfort Cloud uh, HAC. It's a new app where you can actually connect to the furnace circuit board through Bluetooth connection. You can uh, do a series of tests. It shows you status um, and it also shows you a history of any error codes. You can input notes and set up the furnace when you install it. So this is a new install. We put this in last month uh, before the uh, uh, before the ultra low nox furnaces. So uh, we got this one in last minute. Uh, so I'm just here to do a walkthrough, make sure everything's good. Uh, we ended up updating the firmware because there was an update available. So right now I'm actually updating the circuit board. I'm updating the firmware on it. So they've uh, come out with some bug fixes that they found and they can fix problems with the circuit board. Uh, but I wanted to show you a little bit about how this app works. So when you open it up, it's gonna show you your furnace here. You're gonna select it and it's going to go ahead and connect. Now the first time you do this, I've already connected to it, it's going to uh, ask you to input a code which will display on the circuit board um, to you know uh, sync up with it the first time. After that you don't have to do it. You can either get a code off the board or you can actually um, turn certain things on at the thermostat. And this is compatible with any thermostat. So this system is communicating between the furnace and the condensing unit. Um, you can use any thermostat you want. You don't have to use a proprietary communicating thermostat for this system to get the benefits of communication. That's why they put this Bluetooth app in effect. So, as you can see here, it shows my model numbers of all my systems. If there's ever an update right here, there'll be a little blue square and I'll say update available. I've already updated this. Um, so, what we can do is we can go into the furnace section and we can run the fan. So you just select the fan and you hit run. How, what percentage you want, we're just gonna do 100% and you hit run. And now the fan's gonna come on, eventually. So it's ramping up right now, I don't know if you can hear it, but the fan's running. So now we wanna turn that off, we're gonna select it, and we're gonna put stop, and the fan's gonna kick off. Next thing we want to test is we want to make sure our heater works, so we're going to select the flame. We're going to hit run. We want 100%, uh, which means it's going to be at uh, high fire. So we hit run. And we're just going to make sure that this thing goes all the way through its cycle, uh, just to make sure everything's working properly. And believe it or not, our installer's already adjusted the gas pressure. So. I already uh, went through the uh, check and gas pressure on this one's at uh, 1 1.5 for low fire and 3.4 for the high fire. I usually like to put it a little bit lower than that's required. As you can see the furnace came on and I have the thermostat off. And another nice thing on this is you can see configuration info. It tells you your firmware, your model number. Capacity, horsepower, max CFM, device settings. We can, this is where we can change the settings on the furnace instead of having to you know switch dip switches. Device status, second stage heat, uh, accessory operating mode. And here it actually tells you what it's calling for. Right now it's all off because I'm turning it on directly from the board. And then once the blower comes on, it's going to show me what the CFM is going now. This isn't in real time, so I do have to hit. This isn't in real time, so I do have to hit the refresh. So you can see here's my current airflow. Fault code history. These are all uh, error codes we got when we're installing it. This is active. As you can see, there's nothing. Sensor data. There's nothing out available there. And shared data. I believe that's going to be blank too. So yeah. And then when we want to turn it off, we just hit stop. Shut off. Now that you 
can hit back and you can go into the AC and do the same thing. We got configuration info. We have device settings. That's where we can set how the blower runs. Sensor data. So it's detecting the ambient temperature. And fault code history. And this is again is just stuff from when they installed it. Another thing too is if you go back, I can put a note in here. So we just go to, uh, sorry it's hard to do this one-handed. You hit plus and I can actually type something in there. So I can put, it's in here it tells you the day and the time. And I can, if I ever have to come back, if like I replace something, I can pop that in there. So that's pretty neat. So now if we want to test the AC, we go to AC. And we can select the snowflake and hit run. Capacity we want, we're going to just do 100%. And there we go. I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, the compressor just came on. I can hear the refrigerant moving through the pipes. I don't know if you can hear that. And then the blower will come on. And again, I can see the data. So the outdoor fan speed RPMs, and then the CFM. Now the blower hasn't come on yet, because uh, we have it delayed. And if I hit refresh, there you go, we're at 891. Because it's gonna ramp up. Refresh again. Still the slow speed, should speed up in a minute. Now as you can see, it's already ramped up to 1475 CFM. So yeah, that's pretty much how uh, your comfort cloud works. Uh, it's a pretty nice feature. I personally like it. Uh, I was never really a big fan of Goodman before, but it uh, seems like they're really stepping it up now that they got Daikin back in them. Um, so uh, this system is actually pretty quiet. I've, I've come across some uh, uh, Goodman systems that were just super loud, and this one's actually not so bad. So. Good job, Goodman. So hopefully they uh, keep getting better. But uh, I gotta say, that's pretty cool. So far, I haven't seen another system that has a Bluetooth connectivity feature. And then it's nice, because we can update the firmware on the circuit board, so if there's a defective board, you know, or there's some kind of glitch in it, you don't have to replace the whole board, you just update it with the firmware. So that's uh, Goodman's uh, Comfort Cloud. So check it out, it's pretty much on all their new systems and everything's communicating now. It's two wires. The condenser, most of them have a transformer outside, so you literally just need the two wires to uh, connect uh, to the furnace for communication. So, yeah. So this is what uh, their new furnace board looks like. Um, it's a couple things different. So you'll notice this is to the condenser communicating. This is to the thermostat, which is your standard connection. This right here is the Bluetooth module. This is what uh, gives it that Bluetooth accessibility. What's really nice too is you see this here? This is actually an independent connection for the drain switch. This guy here. So you don't have to uh, you know, break any of the circuits. It actually detects it. So if you open one of these up and this is what it looks like, you're looking at a new Goodman.